Hi guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a new calendar event on your iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro. So first, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And on the home screen, tap on the calendar app. And here at the top, there is an add button. If you tap on that, it will allow you to create a new calendar event. So in here, you can put in the title. So let's say if I put in meet at buttons. So let's say if I'm going to meet up with someone at a store, a hardware store. Next, we can go to location. Now in here, you can use a recent locations. Or if it is a new location, you can manually put in the address or you can use current location. So because I'm meeting up someone at that particular location, I can manually put in the location address. So balance in Mandura. Okay, so we have now choose a location. Now this is optional, you don't have to put it in. And next there is an order event. So if it is, if it is an order, you can switch that on or you can choose a period. So we can set a start time. So let's say the meeting is at 7 uh, o'clock p.m. Then I'll tap on the start button again to collapse. And then tap on the end time to expand. Okay, so we also have an end times. So by default it is set to one hour after the start time, but you can change that. So if it is a long meeting, uh, we can change it. So I'll put it at 9 o'clock p.m. And then I'll collapse that. Next, you got the repeat option. So you can repeat every day, every week, every two weeks, every month, every year. Or you can set a custom uh, frequency. Now, because this is a one-off event, so I will not select the repeat option. Next, we go down and then you got the end repeat, travel time. So I'll turn it on and I'll say it would take 30 minutes to get there. You can set a starting location. Okay, so next we choose a calendar. Now, this is on the 1st of August, so you want to change to a different date. So if it's for tomorrow, it will be 25th. So make sure that you set the correct date as well. And next we go down to calendar and in here you need to select which calendar to save this event to. In here I've got Gmail, calendars from Gmail, I have calendars coming from iCloud. So I'm going to choose work calendar and tap on the back key. Next you can also choose invite here. So if you want to invite somebody to view this event, you can uh, put in the email address or you can select uh, a contact from your contacts app. So, for example, I can select something like that and tap on done. Now, at the moment, it shows no response because this um, device is offline at the moment. And then you've got alert. You can tap on the alert and choose when to alert uh, when the, um, the event is approaching. So we've got 10 minutes uh, set by default. You can choose a different alert time if you wanted to. And next, uh, we can go down uh, on the calendar and select show as. You can show yourself as busy during this time or free. And then you can tap on attachment to attach a picture uh, to the event. And finally, you got the URL or note. You can write any note uh, in this event. So, for example, bring a pen and paper and then finally you can tap on the add button to add the event and that's it so on the 25th you can see we have an, an event here meet at balance if you tap on that it shows the event how long it will take um, the location of where you're going to meet and that's it so that's how you can create a, a calendar event on the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro. Finally, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen.
And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.